Hey friends, it's Kim Barnes Waterman here on She Prays, where we've been traveling through some teachings on spiritual gifts. So if you're watching on YouTube, you can go to the She Prays Facebook page. There's lots of scripture and there's some writings and definitions if that's something that would interest you. But what I wanted to share with you today is the scripture, do not despise the day of small beginnings, okay? As we are developing, learning about, and maturing in our spiritual gifts, we're gonna probably have a small beginning and we're going to learn and we're going to study and we're going to develop and we're going to try and we're going to figure it out okay um so don't think that once you find out what your spiritual gift is you're going to be this huge big evangelist you may be god can do that but more often what i've seen is that people grow and develop over time in their gift as they use their gift, right? Let me tell you my story. Before I knew what prophecy was, I think I'd seen it a couple times about 30 years ago. Uh, within a year after I got saved, I had, I was just a mom who was sick all the time with kids and, and a husband at home. That was my story. And um, I remember one day I was sitting on my couch nursing my baby who was who was 30 now all right and i think i was reading the bible and i was just sitting there and the lord spoke to me and he said i want you to tell kathy five words you're doing the right thing that was it i was like what you want me to tell somebody something what in the world do you do that do you actually do that i want you to tell kathy you're doing the right thing I wigged out. I was like in utopia for about 10 minutes. I was like, what in the world? Are you kidding me? This is insane. You talk to people to talk to people. What is going on here? I was wigged out, but I knew by the spirit it was the Lord. And I was super, super excited. And God, remember, I'm a mom at home with a husband and kids sick all the time, could barely get out to church. And I was like, you're going to let me do that? You asked me to do that? I was super stoked. And I was super stoked for about 10 minutes and the Lord said, now listen, don't get too excited because all of this is because I love her. And I wigged out even more. I said, wait a minute here. You're telling me that you will tell something to a person to say to another person and all of it, the whole thing is because you love that other person. Is this how this thing works? I was flabbergasted. I just lived in the glory for like 10 more minutes. I couldn't believe it. And of course, I had to study the scripture and find out, yeah, God does do that. It was amazing to me. But here's the deal. What did I have to say? Five words. Five. This is my first prophetic assignment, which I didn't even know what it was at the time. I didn't know I was called to prophecy. I didn't know anything. I was just trying to obey God, and I was super excited. And um, this was a Thursday. And Sunday was coming up. I was hoping to be well enough to go to church. So I have three days to think about what God said. Okay? So in that three days, on my first prophetic assignment, I went to the Word where I had been studying for me on family life and husband and wife order and children. And I began to think about Kathy. What is God saying to Kathy? What does he mean she's doing the right thing? What do I know about Kathy? What do I not know about Kathy? What kind of wife is Kathy? Is she a good... I see Kathy. She's kind of loud. I don't think she's very submissive. And I start taking apart in my mind what God could be saying to her because of what I'm reading for me. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. All right, here's the rest of the story, okay? I'm not proud of this, but it got to Sunday. As the Lord would have it, I did go to church. I had on a, a bright orange dress. I remember that 30 years ago now. And I remember uh, the woman, Kathy, who was an older, beautiful sister in the Lord, a mature <laughs> sister in the Lord. I'm brand spanking new saved, don't even know anything, okay? She's up there at worship practice before the service starts. So I thought, well, I'm probably not going to feel well after the service. I better hit her up while I can. So I took my daughter Hannah on my hip. And I went and I stood next to the stage by the wall. And when she came down, I said, Kathy, can I talk to you for a minute? She said, sure. What's up? I said, well, you know, I've just been thinking and reading the scriptures. And I've been studying about husbands and wives and relationships and family order. And are you familiar, you know, with those scriptures? And I just started kind of talking to her about what I had been learning for me. And she's like, uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I said, okay. She said, well, thank you. I said, sure. And she turned to walk away. 
She took a step, and I remember thinking, Kim, if you don't open your mouth now, you never will. I said, oh, Kathy, by the way, God says you're doing the right thing. The woman turned around, fell at my feet, sprawled out on the ground, weeping and crying at my feet. Oh, praising the Lord. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, God. Thank you all. And making this big scene on the floor at my feet. And I stood there in my orange dress with my baby on my hip. And I thought, huh, <laughs> I just gave 500 words of scripture and truth, okay, to this woman that meant absolutely nothing to her. God spoke five words of life that meant everything to her. And it changed, it rocked her world. It changed her world. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? That was my introduction into prophecy, not even knowing what it was. I'll tell you what, do not despise that. Yet, Yes, God forgave me and I learned from it. And I have so many learning experiences I could tell you about. And you're going to learn too. Don't give up when you blow it the first time or the 10th time, okay? God is merciful. He's in the teaching business. Holy Spirit is our teacher, okay? I look back at that and think, oh my gosh, but God did it. God did it. So I want to encourage you, whatever your gifts are, whatever they are, you're going to learn. You're going to learn. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to figure it out. You're going to have opportunities. And do not despise the day of small beginnings, the stepping out in your gifts, because God plans on doing great things through you. All right. I'll see you soon.